Somalia, a country devastated by two decades of civil war, drought and ongoing conflict. Mogadishu, its capital city, has suffered destruction on a scale witnessed in few other places on earth. Infrastructure has been destroyed, the formal economy has disintegrated, basic services are practically non-existent, and poverty rates are amongst the highest in the world. Since the introduction of a new federal government in 2012, the country, especially its capital city, has seen significant investment and development. Security is improving, construction is booming, shops are reopening, life is coming back to the streets of Mogadishu. However, the government and its partners continue to be faced with huge challenges to bring this fragile post-conflict environment into a new era of hope and prosperity. In 2011, under the 10th European Development Fund, the EU funded a three-year project called Sustainable Employment Creation and Improved Livelihoods for Vulnerable Urban Communities in Mogadishu. The project, also known as CECIL, is run by the United Nations Human Settlements Programme, with the Benadir Regional Administration, CHESFI and the Human Relief Foundation. The project aims to create employment and livelihood opportunities and support the delivery of basic urban services to Mogadishu's most vulnerable groups. Livelihoods are extremely relevant to Somalia. I would say, above all, it gives hope to, to the Somali pe people. Uh, if you look at all the challenges they have to face, perhaps what is lacking the most is opportunities. And, and so projects such as CECIL precisely to target that. They provide opportunities, they give alternative livelihoods, and ultimately hope to the Somali people. Somalia is starting to come back, Mogadishu is starting to rise again, and this project has a key role in that context. The local administration is back in place but needs support and capacity building in several areas. So CECIL assists in these areas and um, supports the local administration in providing projects and services to the citizens of Mogadishu. And in the same time focusing on creating jobs and livelihood opportunities for the people of Mogadishu. We have established very close relations with the local government, with Bernadier Regional Administration. They have the ownership of the project. We are just there to support, to assist, but the project is owned by the local administration. This project focuses on the five key areas of the urban economy. The first one is economic infrastructure rehabilitation. Second, solid waste management. The third is the construction sector the fourth, water and sanitation, and the fifth, energy and environment. The destruction caused by ongoing fighting during the country's civil war left not only Mogadishu's infrastructure, but Somalia's economy in ruins. Markets play a key role in the revitalization of the economy and help to build the social capital of the city. Markets were once the economic hub of the communities in Mogadishu. And with the war, it was all lost. And the hope and the aim with CISL is to, to revitalize that, giving people, again, a space to be able to sell their goods and to engage in something that was essentially a, perhaps a cultural pastime. With the help of local partners, CISL has identified two key locations for market rehabilitation. Ancelotti and Sinai. Cecil has assisted with the design, planning and reconstruction of these markets, as well as assisting the local governments to establish market management committees to help run and maintain these markets. Yes, we've rehabilitated a market. We've created, you know, bylaws for the market. Uh, for the market management committee to be able to use, to come together, and for all the vendors essentially to have a voice in, in 
operating the market, um, but we still have a long way to go. And part of that is to change the perceptions and the attitude to understand that, you know, we can establish a center that is um, accessible to all. As well as rehabilitating markets, it is also important to bring new ideas and approaches to economic development. With this in mind, Cecil is building a handicraft centre, something that hasn't been seen in Mogadishu since the outbreak of civil war. The centre aims to bring back traditional crafts to the city, to provide a space for craftsmen and women to explore and share their culture and crafts with the people of Mogadishu, and, hopefully, one day contributing to the rebirth of tourism in Somalia. Mogadishu was once East Africa's cleanest city. However, with an almost complete absence of basic services during Somalia's conflict, Mogadishu became a dumping ground for waste. Waste from households, from businesses, from government and rebel forces, from national and international organisations. Five years ago, the whole of the city was really uh, a dump site. It was really a dump site where you could see anywhere you go and it was my task to to be a mouthpiece for the city. At the time nothing existed but now thank God we have two dump sites with efforts from different uh, stakeholders there has been a change and there has been an improvement. You can anyone can imagine almost 25 years of you know, uncollected garbage, anyone can imagine how that would be. Although there have been many attempts to clean up Mogadishu, no lasting difference has been made. Cecil has taken a unique approach, forming partnerships between the local government and private companies, making waste a resource in itself. Collecting fees directly from individuals and companies creates a sustainable system of waste disposal. This regular waste collection service has allowed life to return to the streets of Mogadishu. I have really one, one, one picture in that particular area. Uh, it was like a carpet in the... This is, it looked like this. So the intervention of, of, of Cecil helped here and immediately after uh, cleaning it up, everywhere you, you clean, it was becoming uh, a football field. ولكن <تصفيق> Cecil has supported the BRA in conducting citywide awareness campaigns, including street theatre, clean district competitions, radio soap operas, and school art classes. Mogadishu's infrastructure has been almost entirely destroyed. Buildings that were once monuments to the city's cultural richness and prosperity now tell a story of conflict and loss. 
With the end of the war came a rush to develop the city, leading to a large-scale construction boom. However, with a lack of law and regulation, this booming industry has been unmonitored and unregulated. Newly constructed buildings disintegrate rapidly and even collapse. Cecil has developed training packages and conducted practical workshops to over 370 construction workers, foremen and supervisors. If the quality of the materials is not good, it will affect the, the structures both in the short term and in the long term. In the long term, it can even lead to collapse of buildings. So testing of materials, whether before, during and after construction is very, very important. A construction material quality testing laboratory has been introduced to monitor and regulate the quality of construction works. Laboratory technicians have been hired by the local administration and trained in Nairobi to be able to manage and run the lab. However, it is not just materials, but also the quality of water that affects the overall quality of the building. We say in construction that any water that is good for drinking, for human consumption, is good for construction. So I still believe that people in Mogadishu still get water to drink. So from the same sources, they can still insist on quality water for construction. A water quality testing lab has also been established to combat issues of water contamination and disease outbreaks in Mogadishu. The lab tests both the physical and chemical parameters of water from different sources and providers throughout the city. A decree has also been issued by the local administration to ensure that water providers are obliged to have their water tested. In the past there have been several cases of um, diseases and even death in Mogadishu from a poisoned well or wells that have been contaminated with bacteria. Um, it's a very important that these wells are being tested regularly, that the water quality is being monitored and therefore the Cecil project has established and opened the first water quality testing laboratory in Mogadishu in the Aquadoto Center. إن آدي آد راح بدنا نسكب بدل المشروع عن يعني أنا جا عن قيبت عن قبلين إن كونتريبيشن بدنا عن كيس الدولة ذات كلمة تشد كان بيها عبايين سامو دوكسونا هي يعني ذات كان مايستان بسيط بدل مكسيات درادة يعني لاب كينا توكل جارو يعني إنه حياة بس كمان كونتور عن السي ذات كاس بيها لسينا هي لوغو بي إنه يهيم بيو يعني استاندر كي عالم كان ربي تاعك دوري يجو استاندر to support the lab in improving the quality of household water, Biosound water filters have been introduced to the city for the first time. The filters are basic technology that uses sand and gravel to make water drinkable. The water quality testing lab will also coordinate and regulate the construction of these filters. As part of a more extensive awareness raising campaign on water issues, Cecil provided informative art classes to school children throughout the city. Health and safety issues are not only linked to water and construction, but are hugely relevant in the production and use of energy, especially in the poorer urban communities.
energy services are very expensive in Mogadishu. Therefore, the Cecil project has been looking to identify alternative forms of energy that are low cost, low technology. So we started engaging in producing sustainable charcoal, charcoal briquettes, improved cook stoves so that one can save cooking fuel and strengthen businesses and community groups active in this sector. Prosopis juliflora is an invasive tree that have grown in Mogadishu over the last 20 years of conflict without control. So many areas, and especially in the peri-urban area of Mogadishu, are completely covered with this tree. The Cecil project stepped in to control the tree, to cut down the tree in a sustainable way that it doesn't grow back, and use the wood, which is very strong and hard, for sustainable charcoal production through community groups. Cecil has developed a national urban strategy for the sustainable management of prosopis. The strategy outlines how prosopis should be effectively removed and how management systems can be put in place in urban and peri-urban areas. As another means of improving the availability of low-cost fuels, Cecil has supported the establishment of two women's groups that have introduced the new technology, charcoal briquetting, to Mogadishu. Briquettes, made from the leftover charcoal dust and organic materials such as waste paper, are more energy efficient and much cheaper than firewood and charcoal. وحان <تصفيق> The Cecil project has initiated a number of pilot projects and has started several new public services or redesigned public services. Um, and I think the project has a number of success stories and best practices. Um, and I hope for the future that we will find funding for follow-up projects to scale up these pilot initiatives so that they can be implemented in the whole of Mogadishu and also that the local government takes over services initiated, labs opened, um, offices opened and takes them over and runs and continues to run these services after the end of the project. Over the past three and a half years, the Cecil project, through the close collaboration of all its partners, has achieved a huge amount across the five sectors of urban development. The project has produced nearly 5,000 working months and 1,200 long-term sustainable jobs for Mogadishu's residents. Cecil has also trained 1,350 people through its five sectors and has improved access to basic urban services for over 200,000 residents. Although a huge amount has been achieved, there is still a long way to go in the urban regeneration of the city. With the continued support of local partners and the international community, we can, together, build on these success stories 
to contribute to building a brighter future for Mogadishu.